we recite Allahu Akbar 85 times a day in our daily prayer. When I see beautiful thing, when I see a beautiful sunset, Allahu Akbar, who can create that? We look at uh, something like if there's a big rain and storm and then all of a sudden the sun shines, we say Allahu Akbar. We use it to, when we hear the good news, like somebody, you know, got married, oh, Allahu Akbar, great. And when you hear somebody die, oh, Allahu Akbar, oh, I'm, I feel so bad for you. Allahu Akbar simply means God is greater. Allah is so great. Allah is merciful. Allah is everything for me. It's my heart and my soul uh, belong to Allah. The media has become a vehicle for religious extremism because the lens of extremism is what dominates the definition of religion. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram want nothing more than us to believe that Islam has no place in the West. ISIS and Al-Qaeda are the new names, but this has been used throughout our history by Muslims, by Christians, by Jews, by Hindus, by atheists, by many other religious communities and religious groups. They have used the name of God to inflict maximum harm against innocent people to promote their own political ideas. We have to achieve political integration so that we are countering the hatred from people like Donald Trump that wants to see more waterboarding, more surveillance, national registration. Those are fascist ideas. We defeated fascism after World War II. Japanese Americans suffered from internment camp. American Jews suffered from anti-Semitism. Now Muslims are basically filling the same shoes. And my hijab, I have to do the adjustment also because I don't want people to attack me. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. There's a little prayer that Muslims sometimes say when they travel. Now I have to worry that if the person sitting next to me, you know, hears this under my breath, that now all of a sudden uh, we got to turn the plane around and land or everybody's going to freak out.